Okay, welcome students. Uh, welcome to the fourth lecture of module one. I am Viresh Kumar K S. Uh, let's move on to the topic. So today we are discussing with respect to the uh, elements which are used in the hydraulic system. Uh, one of the element which is used in the hydraulic uh, cylinders uh, uh, that is very important for to prevent the leakages. Okay. Uh, you have seen lot of uh, oils, uh, the what are the fluids which are used in the hydraulic cylinders uh, that may chances of leaking means there may be a chance of leakage. So how can we prevent that leakage? Okay. So if you want to prevent the leakage, you have to seal that leakage. Okay. Whenever if you find any leakage in here, uh, the, there must be a uh, that leakage should be uh, sealed by proper element. Okay. So in here we are using many types of uh, sealing materials in here. Seal, the seal is an agent which prevents leakage of oil from hydraulic elements and protect uh, and protect the system from dust, dirt. The major function of seal is to maintain pressure uh, and prevent loss of fluid from the system and keep out the contamination in the system to enhance its working life and functional reliability over a longer period. Okay, so that is the applications. So you can see uh, this is the actually this is a cylinder. Okay, this is a cylinder and this is a piston. Okay, this is a piston which is connected by a piston rod. Okay, uh, there are some mounting elements in here. So it is a cut section you can see here. So the piston is having one uh, blue colored seal that is called as piston seal. So piston rings which are going to be used for the piston seal. This piston seal is mainly used because uh, to avoid the leakage or uh, avoid the leakage from uh, this portion to this portion okay so there should be our that leakage should be avoided and it will it is non positive because it will allow some amount of uh, liquid for lubrication okay not completely it will allow only some part and it will provide the protection for this uh, whatever the cylinder walls from uh, this piston surface so that is the piston wearing can be reduced by this use of this piston seals you can see next there is a rod wearing rings are also used so that is also going to protect against this uh, surface where it is reciprocating buffer seals are going to be used buffer seals are maybe in many shapes okay that may be in the shape of v shape uh, v shape uh, seals or uh, u shape seals that may be different types Next, rod seals. So, rod seals are also different types of seals which are going to be used. And a wiper. This wiper is going to prevent the oil leakage outside this whatever the piston. Okay, that can be avoided at the end. So, this type, this whatever the uh, sealing materials are going to be used in a, a single element of a hydraulic system. Okay, the classifications of seals. There are many classifications you can make. Uh, with respect to its uh, different category okay first according to the method of sealing so how you are going to use the sealing positive sealing okay and negative sealing what is this positive sealing positive sealing uh, is prevents in uh, okay the positive seal prevents even a min minute amount of oil from getting past a positive seal does not allow any leakage with whatsoever okay so they are telling that positive seals never allow any leakage. Okay, if you are using positive seals, it will not allow a small amount of oil can be leaked out. So those type of seals are called positive seals. Non-positive seals are nothing but they will allow some amount of liquid to leak because for lubrication purpose. Okay, a non-positive seals allows a small amount of internal leakage such as the clearance of piston to provide the lubrication film. So for the lubrication purpose. Next, according to the relative motion existing between the seal and other parts, relative motion means if it is static or it, if it is dynamic, there must, there must be considered in here. Okay, some of the uh, whatever the seals which are used in the elements, where the uh, uh, whatever the materials are uh, internal elements which move together with relative motion, we can expect, but some element doesn't move. Okay, so those static seals. These are used between mating parts that do not move relative to one another. It will not move with respect to one another. There, these are relatives, relatively simple. These are essentially 
non wearing and usually trouble free in assembly properly why we call it as non wearing because it is static there is no wearing uh, phenomena uh, takes place and very less trouble we can expect from this whatever the static seals next dynamic seals dynamic seals are there uh, where we are going to use where uh, there is a movement of parts relative movement these are the assembled between mating parts that move related to each other hence dynamic seals are subject to wear because one of the mating parts rub against the seal okay there is a rubbing takes place and hence the wearing takes place in this type of seals okay according to the geometry of cross section it is very important many times they are asked in the examinations uh, about the o rings u rings t rings okay so according to the geometry cross section how the cross section of the seals is going to be considered the o rings the o ring name came because the cross section of this whatever the seal is circular so we can call it as o ring okay so you can see so it's a rubber rubber material seal the cross section is circular and it have the diameter the bigger diameter internal diameter which is having o ring is most widely used seal for hydraulic systems it is molded synthetic rubber seal that has a round cross section in its free state o ring can be used for most static and dynamic conditions it gives effective sealing through a wide range of pressures temperatures and movements okay this is the o ring next come to the v ring so v ring is also we are going to consider with respect to the cross section okay v ring so you can see here the v shape is given in here so this is the cross section and this is the small portion section of that whatever the ring which is taken in here so this uh, is a v ring seal and the u ring seal is uh, uh, relatively like this this is the u ring seal okay this is u ring seal so you can see this sort of the diagram in here how the seal will be look like okay it is also rubber metal maximum rubber metals they are going to use for this v and u ring seals are compression type seals used in virtually all types of reciprocating motion applications these include piston rods and piston seals in pneumatic and hydraulic cylinder press tank jacks and seals on plungers and piston in reciprocating uh, pumps okay there are many applications of this wearing so this is mainly uh, we consider a compression type of seals okay so uh, they have given a lot of applications in pneumatic hydraulic uh, uh cylinders uh, and pumps uh, jacks uh, there are lot of applications of this v and u rings t ring so t ring seals you can see the shape of t will be seen in here so with respect to that we will give the name as t ring seal t ring seal is a dynamic seal that is extensively used to seal cylinder cylinder pistons uh, the piston rods and other reciprocating parts it is made of synthetic rubber molded in the shape molded in the shape of the cross section t and the uh, reinforced by a backup ring on other side uh, either side the uh, sealing edge is rounded and the sealing very much like as o rings okay this is the shape and it will be explanation of how the its cross section look like next piston cup packaging so piston cup packaging is also required because uh, whenever you are mounting the piston to any system piston cylinder so what happens it, they, at the end of the caps there may be a ch chance of leakages so for to avoid that leakage we will use the piston cap uh, cup packaging piston cup packaging are designed specific, specifically for pistons in reciprocating pumps and uh, pneumatic and hydraulic cylinders they offer a best service life for this type of application require a minimum recess space and minimum recess machining and can be installed easily and quickly just uh, you have to place in the piston cups area and you have to uh, perfectly seal that area for to avoid the leakages in here piston rings piston rings are seals that are universally used for cylinder pistons piston rings offer a substantial less opposition to mo motion than synthetic rubber okay piston rings uh, offer very less uh, whatever the opposition to the motion and uh, uh, if you consider the reciprocating diagram so that's why we are going to use this type of piston rings in the pistons so what are the sealing materials you are going to use okay 
so that is also in considered leather bone iron silicon there are different material they are going to be used why it is going to be used? this material is uh, rugged and inexpensive it can be very less expensive however it ext it tends to uh, squeal scream screech uh, when dry and ca cannot operate above 90 degree uh, which is uh, inadequate for many hydraulic system leather does not uh, does operate well at cold temperature uh, to about minus 50 degree centigrade this is the property of that leather type of material bone iron this material is rugged uh, and uh, inexpensive and wear well wears well it has a, a rather wide operating temperature range of minus 45 degree to 110 degree during which uh, maintaining maintain is good sealing characteristics that is the property silicon the elastomer has a extremely wide operating temperature range minus 65 degree to 232 degree centigrade hence it is widely used for rotating shaft seals and static seals silicon has lower tear resistance and hence not used for reciprocating seal applications neoprene neoprene this material has a temperature range of 50 degree to 120 degree centigrade and uh, unsuitable for above 120 degree because it is tendency to vulcanize okay vulcanize so that is the limitation of this neoprene uh, white on this uh, material contains 65 percent fluorine this has become almost standard material for elastomer type seals for use at elevated temperature up to 240 degree centigrade it minimum operating temperature is 28 degree centigrade next tetrafluoroethylene this material is most widely used plastic for seal of hydraulic system it is tough chemically inert waxy solid which can be processed only by compacting and sintering it has excellent resistance to chemical breakdown up to temperature of 370 degree centigrade okay this is all about the seals next we come to the pipes and hoses so pipes and hoses also the very important elements of any hydraulic system in here okay so it is majorly used for to connect from one element to the another for example from the tank to the filters filter to the pumps pumps to the next uh, whatever the walls uh, that is the uh, pressure uh, regulating walls next from there to uh, direction control walls okay so like that uh, the whatever the pipes is going to be connected to the final output uh, product uh, uh, to the actuators like that it is going to be connected so it have the connection so it is the connection area in hydraulic system the fluid flows through the distributing system consisting of pipes which is also called as conductors you can call it as a conductors and fittings which carry the fluid from the reservoir through operating temperature components and back to the reservoir the hydraulic system uses primarily four types of conductor steel pipes steel tubing plastic tubing flexible faucets the choice of which type of conductor to be to use depending upon primary on the system operating pressure and flow rates so majorly four types we are going to use steel pipes steel tubing plastic tubing and flexible hoses majorly flexible hoses are uh, lot of there is a lot of application of that next quick acting couplings so it is very important so what we do we have to connect the pipe one pipe to another pipe so sometimes we require couplings so it quick acting couplings uh, act as a very faster way to connect the two pipes couplings are precision precision components engineered for specific uses with exact dimension and close tolerances these are variety of applications in modern industrial parts for quick connecting coupling both for pneumatically operated tools as well as other fluid of power equipments which can be connected rapidly to their power source to permit wide versatility for production needs okay so many applications are there for this type of quick acting couplings so you can connect easily uh, by that uh, the operation can be uh, done faster okay uh, i think uh, this is enough for this class we will move on to the next class the next topic will be covered in the next uh, lecture uh, thank you all for listening in here